Boom. What up? So I'm only here back doing some more League of Legends action. Help this guy out real quick. All right, cool. The top lane we go. Uh, we're on the PB. We're playing some Trundle in the top lane. We're at Trundle against Kane. Boom. What up? Today's video is sponsored by Pro Guides. Pro Guides is the number one proven way to help increase your rank. And I will tell you personally that their guides are top tier. Having checked them out myself, I actually have seen quite a few useful tips and tricks that I've added into my own game to help me destroy the competition. They have 24 hour on demand coaching from challenger players that will pinpoint every flaw in your gameplay and help you become a better player. There's also courses from your favorite pro player and analysis like Doublelift, Mike Young, and Zyrene. I personally am a big fan of Mike Young, so I'm going to be looking out for his jungle guides. So what are you waiting for? Scroll down, click the link, get over to pro guides, check them out. I highly recommend it. He has Ignite. Um, got EXP for this minion, that's okay. I wonder what he took first. If he took Q and he Qs for it, I bet I could kill him. I'm not sure what he actually took. <sighs> Big slaps. Let's go. Drop that minion aggro. Ooh, okay. Chomp. Ah, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> The minions didn't drop aggro, they kept hitting. It's fine. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get one of these and probably two potions. I think that's the way to go, early game. Oh, this is such an ideal position, because the wave's slow, uh, slow shoving into us, and then we have ignite, or we have teleport versus his ignite. So he ends up missing quite a bit here. <laughs> Wouldn't he have survived that with flash? Well, the. The shots that are already traveling in the air would still go off. So my plan was to go kill a minion, because my passive actually heals me based on minions dying, or units dying. So I wanted to hit that minion that was 1 HP, try and kill it, get a little bit of health, and survive. Because all the minions change to tar uh, target. Okay. Good try, sir. Trundle doesn't play. He's a stat stick. If you try and get into my face and I out damage you, I'm just going to sit here and hit you. You're not going to win the fight. Trundle slap. Because my Q, it's an on or it's an auto attack reset. So I can auto and then Q immediately, right? So I get like two hits really quickly. But then the, the thing with the Q as well is it's amping up my attack damage by stealing some from you. So it reduces your attack damage and increases mine. So then that differential between the two is going way up. And then it's also an auto attack reset, so I can auto cube by the time you auto like one time. Then it makes your auto do less damage. Mine do more. I mean, eventually he's going to get to his form and it's going to be fine. It's not a big deal. But he's giving me a big advantage early game that I use to then miss a CS Pog Champ. Just want to make sure the wave's going to crash under. That is the key here. I think we're a little bit short on the item I want to go. Yeah, I'll probably just claw first. So that requires this. Hello? Am I blind? Here it is. So yeah, we're a little bit short item-wise. Might just grab an extra longsword. Or could go boots plus a, long, or plus a potion. That would be a decent option too. I feel like my W movement speed. Your W is a big circle. You get additional movement speed and attack speed on top of that circle. E. And you get increased healing, 25% uh, increase from all sources. He's obviously a pillar that slows them and can potentially bump them back. See that little inner circle? That's what will bump them back. So if that inner circle's, uh, I'll show you. So say the inner circle's like this, it would bump it back this way. If it's like this, it would bump it back that way. Uh, let's go get our ward down. And then Q, like I said, bonus damage, auto attack reset, steals attack damage from them, gives it to us. Ultimate steals armor, magic resist, and HPs. If he stays here, I'm definitely gonna fight. Beautiful. And then our passive is every time a unit dies near us, we get 2%, 3% now, it scales with level, of that uh, unit's HP. So for Baron, that's like 500 health, you know? It's quite a bit.
Oh, that kind of sucks. He literally turned at the exact moment I didn't want him to. <laughs> if he kept taking one step forward, that E would have bumped him back into me. That's alright. Waves on my side of the map at the moment. It's going to push to him if he, just sit, if he sits back and waits. That's okay. We're just going to wait for our, our E and then look to make another play. Use W to, to uh, close the distance. I think Boots would have been better in a situation like that, right? Probably would have just been able to catch him. It's all good. wonder if he goes for this one. Shit E placement. Uh, I really just need Boots. I'm too slow. I can't catch him. He stands extremely far away and then... Uh, okay. And he just randomly decided to walk into me. I don't know what that was. I would have killed him by myself there. I ulted immediately when he did that. I don't know why I walked forward like that. It's pretty foolish. Auto Q works on towers as well. I don't think you can reduce the tower's attack damage. No. Okay. Just making sure. That'd be pretty wild. But it does let you take towers extremely quickly. Uh, I try and clear this wave real quick and then look to leave. Oof. Get that bonus attack speed. Trying to finish this up. We're going Prowler's Claw first, which is going to give us a dash. Which should be really good, especially in this matchup. This guy's kind of a pain in the ass to catch at the moment. Um, Alright, let's get out of here. Sweet. How's the team going? Mid lane, 1 and 3. My lane's doing well. Jungle and top are doing good for us as well. Alright, we're going to go like this and then Boots here, I think. As opposed to finishing... Oh, actually, no, we can just wait the extra gold. Sweet. That works, too. Okay. That works, too. We'll just wait, grab this item. Stand at max range, which is right here. We'll W as well. Run fast. Sweet. Yeah, so Prowler's Claw, 55 attack damage, 21 lethality, and 10% or 10 ability haste. And then the active dash through a target enemy, dealing 100 plus 30% of your bonus physical damage. And then for the next three seconds, that uh, champion takes, well, the target, you can use it on minions too. That target takes 15% increased damage by you, right? You deal, yeah, yeah, yeah. So only by you. Um, sweet. <laughs> this guy's getting so mad. <laughs> I say the same shit though. I hate when people like back ping you when it's obvious that you can't do anything to get out. It's like, careful, bro, you're going to die. It's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Why didn't you ping me like 10 seconds ago? Well, maybe I could have gotten out. All right. If he walks up from one of these, we definitely look to fight. I don't think he'll be that dumb. He did last time when the wave was all stacked up. He just wandered into it. and was like, all right. And the timing was perfect because my jungler was here too. Nah. If he hits that slow, I just can't catch him. Bro, he dashed in. Okay. This man is crazy, bro. Just be patient. Simply wait. The wave is stacked up. This is a rule that like some people just don't seem to get. If there's a pushing wave, the wave will push into your tower. That's it. That's it. The wave will keep pushing until it crashes into your tower. Do not walk up and die for that wave. That's dumb. Simply wait, be patient, let the wave crash into your tower, and collect all the farm. Unless you're going to try and set up a freeze, but he's not a champion, and this is not a position in which he can set up a freeze. So maybe if it's me in that situation, the wave's crashing like that, I can go, alright, I can trim some of this wave and look to freeze it up. I think I kill you. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I am wrong. <laughs> How much damage did the minions deal? Three. Ooh. Hmm. I think I should have kited the minions more. I kind of stood there in the beginning part and just kind of slapped him. I think that might have been the mistake. Yo, he has no R. He has no R. Go kill him. I have ultimate or teleport bot lane here. It's probably what I'm going to do. Let me get Tabby here as well. Should be a kill, right? Here I come. I got my item finished. I got the Prowler's Claw. I 
We just stand here and slap this guy. There we go. Easy peasy. I didn't even have to use my Prowler's Claw. Hit the tower a few times, get some plates here. You can get at least two. Probably three. I use my W like that, that way it gives me distance to run through. To run away. Oh! Not bad. I'm gonna reset here. Go back to top lane. It's going lethality red. Okay, that's weird. Mm, what's my follow-up? Ravenous Hydra. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be juicy. Oh, she got a pink ward. Uh, oof. Not the cleanest back. Not bad. 71 to 65. Doing pretty good. 2-5 versus 4 2, two. Jungle's really far ahead. Mid's not doing well, but scale's really hard. Bot's doing fine. We'll take it. Yeah, that champion's crazy, bro. Just running around at a billion miles an hour. I think there's gonna be a play here where he tries to like knock me up with this W and I use my uh, Prowler's Call to dash behind him. I think that's a play that's definitely possible. Oh, I forgot there was no tower. I probably could've just chased him, huh? I didn't really think about that. Nice, now our bot lane's winning too. Big teleport last time. Just kidding, I spoke too soon. Bot lane's dying. <laughs> oh, close. Don't get baited. Rampage. Looks like this is gone, right? Yep. Uh, walk into the jungle. We can get a ward here minimum. Maybe do more. I am a big fan of deep wards. You can get them down, might as well. Alright, um, I don't think I actually catch him coming around this way. Ooh. The dash, boys. I got W here in a second. Oh, he didn't die. That sucks. Might actually get me here. Yep. He didn't die to the Q. That sucks. What are you gonna do? It is what it is. Thought enough damage to kill him. I did not. Lame. Because I take two tower shots going for it, and he ignites me and then ults me. So no play to be had. I just thought I had enough damage to kill him with the Q there. Uh oh. Because I knew he'd W to knock me up, and I'd just be queuing his W. So if I have enough damage to kill, he dies right there. But he lives with 1 HP. He's able to get his ultimate off. Heals him up quite a bit. He played it well. Yeah, he played it really well. But I dove him under return or didn't have enough damage to actually kill. Yeah, he played that shit great. <laughs> Someone actually has to make an outplay in order for me to praise them like that, dude. I'm not going to praise a guy who... Got dove under a tower and survived. Like, I can get over that wall too, punk. How are you so fucking fast, man? Jesus. He is so fast. Why? He doesn't even have boot too. How's he outrunning me at all? I'm queuing him and slowing him. How's he outrunning me at all? Crazy. The hell? I have 500 movement speed on my Q. Or on my W. Beautiful. I'm very strong right here. So is this guy. Nine kills. Uh, okay. Slam this wave. Oof. Team at first would probably be good too. Because then we have the AOE on this part. I mean, first after our uh, mythic. I don't think... Like, this is going to be the season where I don't think there's going to be any of those builds where it's like a non-mythic item first. I don't think that's going to happen very often. 
fairly certain it's just going to be mythic items every single time. Should be good. I think get into range to hit me. Now I can just grab this real quick, come back in. Got him. He's so fast. Oh, nice hit, Pike. Damn, son, that was good. This is a weird play. I don't see how this works. Oh, out the wall, son. How you doing? I got this. Oh, he hit the thing. Please, Q, 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 Q. How are these people so fucking fast? How are they so fast? He has room one. How is he all running? I don't understand. What? What's his movement speed? Well, that's not real. <laughs> What's his real movement speed? 350, bro. How is he out running me? What? I didn't realize I could E cane through the wall. That's like a big play I didn't think about. I just tried to do it in the moment and it ended up working. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, hello? Juked it. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna run away then. Lame. We got our item. Let's go back and buy it. Why does Trundle look different? Mm, I don't know. Looks the same to me. Yeah, definitely looks the same to me. I don't know. So, Death Dance, Black Cleaver, Asterix, or Visage here. That's our route. So, Death Dance against a lot of physical damage. Sterics against a lot of burst. Visage against AP. Yeah, it's pretty much death stance. Okay. Here we go. What was the other one? Black Cleaver. Do I need more CDR? Slash more like bruiser damage? Meh. You could do Black Cleaver here. They just don't have very much armor. If it was like longer fights and stuff, I think Black Cleaver would be the good route. Oh, baby. Whew. This applies on everything now. Abilities and uh, auto attacks. 65 attack damage, 20 ability haste, 15% omni vamp. Massive. That omni vamp then gets amplified by our, uh, oof, our ability to miss cannons. To remind you to drop a like on the YouTube video. Um, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> the dash is so funny. Uh, hey! Oh, they surrendered. <laughs> what is Omnivamp? Uh, it's like what Death Dance does on live servers. So it's based on damage dealt. So it's 15% healing from the damage that you deal. And then that gets reduced uh, to 33% for AoE. So 15% for single target, 5% healing for AoE. That's basically how it breaks down for that one because it's 15% omni vamp i'll uh, give it to this guy he played really well he played very well yeah just kind of destruction in the top lane minus like a couple of dumb plays by me <laughs> well take it i'll take it not bad almost number one damage you actually lost by like 50 this is right at the end there damn interesting how much is our healing though that's what i want to see Oh, not that much compared to these two. How does this guy have so much healing? What heals on her? Jungle item? Smite? Con? Jungle healing? Yeah, just jungle healing, yeah. Interesting. So I didn't heal for nearly as much as I thought I did. I mean, if I'm against a tank, we have longer fights. Plus, I just finished my uh, Ravenous Hydra right there. But yeah, I'm going to press the attack, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, more damage when we're low, Bone Plating and Revitalize, Revitalize, Ampling up healing as well. So we have our W Amping Healing, Revitalize Amping Healing, and then we have a Heal uh, through here. Plus we have our passive, which is Healing, and our ultimate that steals HP and heals as well. Isn't she using Conquer? Uh, no, she's not using Conquer actually. Oh no, this thing, this thing, Rift Maker, 15% Omni Vamp. Wow. Wow. So she healed literally because of that. 
She doesn't even have jungle item to smite. Right? Yeah, bro. She doesn't even have a jungle item to smite. She literally healed all that off of this thing. Damn. This mythic item is super good for like Mordekaiser and shit. OP OP. Anyways, GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over on the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream. I stream every single day, 6 a.m. to 12 noon EST. Follow and be alerted when I go live. GG well played. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.